Let's talk about Webkins. Yeah, I'm jumping on the bandwagon. So we've seen recently that Webkins is kind of going downhill. People are leaving the fandom, and it's just not really working out for Gans. Now, Fortunekins made a much better informational video titled What Killed Webkins. I'll link it in the description. What she talks about in her video is why Webkins is going downhill, could, it, could this have been prevented, could it be fixed, and will Gans fix it? I will not be covering any of those topics in this video. In this video, I will be talking about my personal opinion. Emphasis on my personal opinion. I'm not saying you have to agree with me. This is just what I think about the, the state Webkins is in right now. So let's first talk about the new pets. I adore the new pets. The husky pup, the pink ribbon unicorn. I love them so much. And I can't wait to buy them in the future. But my problem is I hate the remakes. The remakes are horrible. I get that some people like them. I gotta say, the new hedgehog is cute, but it's just not as classic as our regular nice little fuzzy guy. But one thing I really want to shine light on is the sheepdog. Most people didn't even know the old sheepdog existed, but it did and it is, in my opinion, one of the most adorable webkins. The new one is ugly and it has that weird fur type that's like on the chihuahua's ears on several other webkins. I think it's not a cuddly type of fur and I don't really like it. And so when Gans came out with the sheepdog, I saw its face and I was like, that's just not cute. So I get that some people might really like this Webkins and some people might think it's better than the old one. But my opinion, it's not. It's not better than the old one. The old one is so fluffy and adorable and it's a larger Webkins so you can really snuggle with it at night. If there's a thunderstorm, you could just wrap up in a blanket and hold this thing as you drink some hot cocoa. That's what I think when I look at it. But then let's talk about the new Ribbon Unicorns. We recently got a remake of the original Ribbon Unicorn, and this month, November, we got the Pink Ribbon Unicorn. This is the only remake that I am a sucker for. I am a sucker for Ribbon Unicorns. I own the original Ribbon Unicorn. Her name is Fable, and I adore her. And I really like these new ones too. I kind of see them as being like a group of sisters, or something like that. I really can't wait to buy both of these new ribbon unicorns. And that's really the only remake I like. Let's talk about Gan's original species, the Googles. From what I, from the knowledge I have, the most recent ribbon Google, ribbon Googles, <laughs> the most recent Googles was the candy Googles, which came out in a year I will show on the screen now. Now, I really love the Googles. I recently just found a pink Googles at the, at my local thrift store, and I love it to death. I think they're just such a creative little creature. So, why did Gan stop? Well, because popular demand, they nobody really bought the candy googles. It was not a popular webkins. So Gans must have thought, well, these are going downhill, let's stop altogether. Well, I would have loved to see maybe a tie-dye googles, or maybe a, uh, a water googles, or just several other googles, like a love googles, a clover googles, kind of like a puppy. Now the next thing is the puppies. The puppies are m most people's favorite regulars. They're really good co to collect and they're super adorable. Now why did Gans stop that? I have no idea why Gans stopped that. But I have not seen a new puppy for a very long time. But I've been seeing a large rise in these pups. I really like the husky pup. It is my dream regular webkins. I love this thing. But the Pitbull Puppy? People love it, but I think it's kinda weird looking. 
I don't know, it might just be because I don't really like pit bulls that much, but I just don't really like the webkins. People say, oh, it's so cute, its head is so big, but to me, it doesn't look like a webkins. Webkins all have this certain design that you can just recognize, and then you look at the pitbull puppy and you're like, did, did Gans make that? We recently got the British Bulldog, or whatever it was called, puppy. It, it's bad. It does not look like a cute Webkins. Same thing with the Bloodhound puppy, it, which is, which, once again, my personal opinion, an ugly Webkins. Well, now, when I say ugly Webkins, I'm not meaning like, I hate it. All I'm saying is, I just don't think it looks good. Some people might disagree with me. For instance, I think the Weimar Honor is cute, and most people think it is, well, horrifying or just downright creepy. Once again, this video is my personal opinion. Now, let's talk about the website. Let's think. Most people nowadays barely go on the website. This is one thing F Fortunekins did not cover in her video. People aren't really going on the website anymore. Most people are like, oh, I haven't been on the website in, in, in a year or, or six months. Me personally, I hop on there once in a while. Recently, I've been really enjoying designing rooms because I have an eye for room design, even though it's not something I really want to do when I grow up. I really enjoy doing it in platforms such as Animal Jam, Webkins, and even in real life. I like making little bedrooms. That's the one thing I like about it. I am really not liking how I can go into the W shop, I find an item I like, and then it's the Gans e-store coin thing. That's not fun. It was much easier when they separated the Gans e-store in the game from the W shop. You could go to the W shop and everything was Kins Cash, and you could go to the Gans e-store and everything was Gans coins, and it was just easier to decorate a room. And what happened? They decided to smush the two. I don't know if they didn't have enough room in the game to separate them, but they kind of just slammed them both together and now it's super annoying when I'm designing a room for my, my pet, I need a dresser, I see the most perfect dresser, and it's 3,000 e-coins. I really forget what they're called. Ugh. It is one of the most annoying things ever. I get it, in-game currency, a lot of games use it. Example could be Fortnite, which I hate, um, several other games, and so forth. One thing Ga Fortune Kins t tackled in her video was the Dulux membership. Personally, I don't have a big problem with the d Dulux membership. When I see something's Dulux, I'm kind of like, oh dang it, but then I move on. I don't have a biggest pro a problem with it, but what I do have a problem with is the price. If I ever wanted to get a Dulux membership, I'd want to spend a hundred bucks. Even the Animal Jam memberships are cheaper. And Gans gets more money from the plush, so why did they price it so high? I think Gans might be prepared to shut the plush down and just make it a website. Now this is what I'll tackle next. If Gans did stop making plush, this would be horrifying for the fan- for the fandom of Webkins. And probably more screams than when the signatures died because this is how Webkins started. Webkins is a plush toy company. This is what they have a patent for. They have a patent for a stuffed animal that comes with a code and you put it online. Now, Gans would probably see their mistake very soon. More calls, cries, emails, letters would come in than when they discontinued the signatures. Which, by the way, was reasonable. They, they partnered with another company to make the signatures, and the contract ran out, so they really had no choice. And so when everyone called Gans telling them to bring them back, they couldn't, because their, their contract with this other company had run out. Now, let's actually look at this. You can still buy signatures. Yes, they're ex some are expensive, but you can find really good deals. Like, I found, 
I didn't buy it, but I found a signature cheetah for nine bucks on eBay recently. This purchase is now sold, by the way, so don't go looking for it. But it's still easy to buy signatures, and people still collect them and label them as their favorite type of webkins. And so if the normal plush got discontinued, people would probably do the same thing. People would keep on buying them, although there would be no more use for the code unless GAN somewhere, some way incorporate, incorporated that like they did with the signatures, where you can still enter them online even though the plush are discontinued. People would still collect these. I believe that the Webkins fandom is a strong fa fandom, and everyone in this fandom is so nice and so sweet and so supportive. There's not a lot of bad people. With a, only a few exceptions, the Webkins fandom is one of my, f is my all-time favorite fandom just for how amazing it is. It's so fun to see people comment on your videos talking about how much they like your Webkins or your editing, and then you look at the LPS or Beanie Boo community and it's just way too big. For the Webkins community, we are a, ta a small, connected community. Everyone knows, knows everyone. And I believe that if the plush got discontinued, people would still collect them. Easy as that. Now, this is another thing on my opinion. People should stop complaining. It's not one nine-year-old kid, no offense to nine-year-old kids, will be able to go to Gans, tell them to bring back signatures, and they'll magically do it. Now, it's not just signatures, it's anything. Maze and hamsters, littlekins, puppies, etc, etc. Gans won't do it. Gans has a serious problem with not really informing us. Especially when they shut things down. They did not inf They did not tell anyone they were shutting Nunkamoles down. They did not tell anyone they were shutting Webkins Jr. down. And they didn't tell anyone they were shutting one of their next best-selling games down. Amazing World. I was very sad when they shut this down. I really liked this game, and it just went away out of nowhere. This angered me. I wanted to yell at, yell at Gans for not warning us that they were going to shut the whole game down. I didn't. I never got a chance to buy one of the plush, which I think were adorable. But then we have another problem. If Webkins does get shut down, the website, the plush, will they tell us, or will it just disappear? Will people call Gans and they won't explain anything, or will they tell them what happened? We all know that trends die. The Webkins trend died, but the company is still going on. But most of the time when trends die, the company dies. I'm trying to think of an instance here, so I'll just talk about Beanie Babies. The Beanie Baby trend was in the late 90s, so I wasn't alive then. But they were still around when I was... when Webkins were first coming out. But the trend was dying, and when the trend died, Beanie Babies died. And Ty came out with their next line, Beanie Boos, which is still booming. I personally love Beanie Boos. So, why didn't Webkins die when the trend stopped? Well, because Webkins had a community. When you have Beanie Babies, it wasn't that big of a community. I mean, you have a few people that maybe talk about their toys to each other. But with Webkins, you can talk to friends online. You can go to your school and bring a Webkins and someone could compliment you on it. It's just such a good community. So I think Gans didn't shut it down as a whole because of the community. Will this mean that they will listen to us? Probably not. As, once again, watch Fortune Kins' video to kind of cover this topic more about how Gans listen to, to their fans. But I personally think that Gans actually kind of does listen. They are trying to do what's best for their game. They are- they keep going. They could have stopped Webkins when the signatures died because of the amount of upset people, but they didn't. They kept going. They could have stopped Webkins when they kept on getting hate about the remakes, but they didn't. They kept going. 
They know how much people love their toys, and as long as they're making money, they will keep going. Another thing is money. Once again, I'm not going to talk about it in this video, watch Fortunekins' video. But all I'm saying is, I really think Webkins is going in a okay direction. I think the new Webkins, such as the Pink Ribbon Unicorn, the Husky Pup, um, and a few others are really good Webkins and people really like them. I know that there's some controversy on, you know, people, you know, unboxing them and they're like, oh, it's not as cute as I expected. You know, it, uh, take a look at the, let's say, the Bulldog or Bulldog, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Bulldog. This thing, it's, it's, uh, I have mixed feelings about it, but I think it's a good classic Webkins. And probably when it first came out, people were like, no thank you, but nowadays, people really like this Webkins, so we just gotta give the plush time. I'm sure after a while, the Pitbull puppy will, bl will grow on me, or I'll really like the remakes. But until then, I am okay with the direction Gans is going. I will not get as upset if they shut Webkins down, because it's not the sight that people love. It's the plush. It's the community. Although there will be many tears, many rant videos, many rant posts, it will all die away, just like the Save the Sigs thing. And we'll all stay together. If Webkins dies and everyone leaves, I will still be making videos because this is a passion. Collecting Webkins is a passion I have. And I just think that we should all chill relax and take a deep breath and just ride the boat of Gans going to the future and we can see what our where our destination will be